Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that has to deal with uh, fractional parts of a circle, specifically a spinner, and determining what that missing piece is. Okay, so I'm pulling this question from, uh, this is from CPM, this is course two, and this is actually the closure section for chapter three. So it's chapter three closure, okay? And the problem specifically is 3 132. So it says Robert found a game spinner that was not completely labeled. The spinner is shown at the right. Help Robert figure out what fraction of the spinner is missing. So we've got this spinner, right? And each of those shows fractional pieces, which also kind of show that probability. If we were talking about what's the probability that if this was a spinner, my arrow would end up here. Well, the probability of my arrow ending up here is three eighths. My probability of arrow ending here is one six, right? So these are fractional parts of my spinner, my circle, but also the probability too. So that being said, we're going to look at knowing that if I were to add all of these parts up, it would equal one, right? And probability of an entire event is one, right? So this was... So I'm going to write these down. So it's three eighths plus one third plus one, oops, one sixth. Got ahead of myself there. So one sixth. So three eighths plus one third plus one sixth. And this here is my question mark. It's my unknown. So plus that unknown equals one. That's what I know. Now, if I'm adding fractions and I want to figure out what this is, the way I would add fractions is to get a common denominator. And having that common denominator allows me to put these all in the same parts, right? Divide them into the equal parts so I can see what that missing part really is. So if I look at 8, 3, and 6, and I'm looking for the number that all, all of these go into that are factors of, so the common multiple, the least common multiple in this case, I believe would be 24. So I want to make this 3 8 into something over 24, plus that 1 3rd into something over 24, plus that 1 6th into something over 24, plus then this would be some question mark over the 24 is going to equal, well, 1 would be 24 over 24, right? So that would be my total parts. So I got to get that common denominator. If I want the three eighths to be something over 24, I'm going to multiply by a giant one of three over three. And why is that? Because three times eight is 24. So I knew to go three times eight to be 24. So that's why my giant one is three over three. So three times three, that becomes now nine. My giant one here is going to be eight over eight to get this eight times three is 24. So eight times one, that becomes an eight. My giant one, how do I get from 6 to 24? As I multiply by 4. So my giant one is going to be 4 over 4 when I multiply that to get this common denominator of 24. So 4 times 1 is 4. So now I've got our uh, each of these in the same parts. So I can say 9 plus 8 plus 4. 9 plus 8 plus 4. Together, all of these... Right together, all of those are going to equal, let's see, 9 and 8 is 17 plus uh, 4 is 21. So together, that's 21 over 24. So then what's what's left? If I have this piece here, all of these together is 21 over 24, how many 24s do I need to be 24 over 24, right? I have 3. So I know then that that has to equal 3 over 24. So we can leave it as 324s, but I do see that 324s can also simplify by dividing top and bottom by 3. It would become 1 8th. So that, that tells me right there that the answer, that space is 1 8th. Okay? And this is the reason why. So you would need to show the reason why, and that's the reason why. Okay, there we go.